Hey. Bed. Now. I'm not playing with you. You promised me you'd be in bed by 10 o'clock, and now it's... Mmm, let me check. Oh, a quarter past 11, which is after 10. Come on, get into bed now, and I'll consider forgiving you. Listen, get your ass into bed right now, or I'm going to steal your laptop and lock the door, and you'll be stuck sleeping in your office chair. And then when morning comes, you will face the wrath of my nagging. Uh, you think I won't? No, I absolutely would do that. Did you just call me ridiculous? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, let's take a look at what you've been doing recently, huh? Let's see. For the past few days, you've been staying up late, not going to bed until like half past two, working on that same project, and yet you wake up at 6.20 in the morning. Babe, that's not even four hours of sleep. You don't eat much dinner. I know because I cook it and then you don't eat it. God only knows if you're eating lunch at work. You've also felt really stressed whenever I try to cuddle you. Doesn't matter if it's on the couch or in bed. You're tightly coiled spring the whole time. It's... It's like you're gonna die if you don't put your hands on that project for five minutes. It's absolutely outrageous. You want to talk ridiculous? That's ridiculous. Oh, shush. I am obviously in no mood to argue. If we're gonna argue, let's at least do it in bed, okay? I'll meet you there. Hi. Welcome to our bedroom. Do you recognize the place? I mean, it's been a really long time since you've come in here with the lights on and not sneaking in after I'm already asleep. So, uh, maybe I should refresh your memory. This is the bed. You sleep here with your wife. <gasps> Look, pillows, so soft. Fresh sheets right out of the dryer. Oh, isn't it nice? Don't you love it? Don't you want to spend all your nights here? Isn't this better than the office? Why don't you come on over here? Put your arms around me. You tell me if it's better. <sighs> Much better. Human contact. Isn't that nicer than the cold, sterile, blue light of your laptop? <sighs> All right. Now, babe, before you start, let me ask you one question. What day is it today? That's right. It's Friday night, which means you have a whole weekend to work, which means there's no reason for you to stay up late tonight and break your promise to go to bed early. Uh-uh, I'm not done yet. Are you at least 80% done with that project? Yes or no, don't give me any buts here. Yes? Hmm. That's what I thought. And when is that project due? Next, next Monday. Monday after next. Two Mondays from now. Okay. Now, what time does work end? 6 p.m. And when did you come home tonight? Half past eight. That's right. Okay. So, we've established you're almost done with the project. It's not due for more than a week. And you've already worked two and a half hours of overtime. Now, are you going to keep finding excuses, or will you admit you're the one who's being ridiculous? Huh? Okay, listen. I don't mean to sound all sassy. Well, sometimes I do. But the point is, you've been overworking. Kind of a lot, actually. <sighs> Forgive me for being blunt. I mean, I know you will. You always do. But... You seriously need to take a step back and slow down. I'm worried about you. I mean, staying up late, not taking enough time to relax, with your wife, or alone, for that matter. Not eating enough, sometimes even skipping meals. You can't do that, babe. If this continues, it's only a matter of time before you have health problems. I mean, I can't let that happen. It's my job to take care of you, like it's your job to take care of me. You're not a machine built just to work. I mean, even if you were, machines need to go through things like cool down and maintenance, right? Babe, I understand. You're diligent and hardworking. I love that about you. Not just because you bring home the bacon. But you've got to keep in mind that too much of anything is bad. 
dedication is no exception. And you know I can't let anything bad happen to you. I mean, I'm your wife. We're married. I'm pretty sure part of that whole love, honor, and cherish package is like trying to keep each other alive and happy. <laughs> You're the most important person in my life. Maybe I don't say that enough, but you are. You're the most important person in my life. And overdriving yourself is really worrying to me. And I really hope you stop it. Mainly for your sake. Um, again, because I love you. But also for mine. You know, again, because I love you. And this may come as a shock to you, but uh, you keeling over from stress and overwork is not ideal. Please don't make me a young widow. I, I can't go back to dating again. <laughs> I'll just, like, I'll mourn you forever and constantly dress in black, and I'll become the weird neighbor lady who lives in a decrepit house with too many cats and all the kids play ding-dong ditch because, you know, the house is cursed or something. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not saying I've thought about this a lot, but, you know, when you work late, I have a lot of time to myself, so maybe I have thought about it a lot. What I'm saying is I love you, and please take care of yourself, because I don't want you to die. I also don't want you to just be miserable. You need time off. Listen, I know you want to be rolling in dough and able to spoil your beautiful wife, and I mean, I'm not opposed to that. But if it comes down to you and a $200 handbag, I will take you every time. Babe, you are doing good enough. Trust me way more than enough. We're in a good position in terms of finance and spending, so you can most certainly afford to slow down a little for me. But if you work yourself half to death, you're gonna get sick. I mean, then where will we be? Setting aside the fact that I love you and don't want you to get sick, think practically. It would cost a fortune. It'll blow through our savings and you wouldn't be able to work while you're recovering. I mean, you wouldn't want that, would you? Send me to the poor house? good, me neither. The good news is avoiding that terrible fate is really easy. All you need is to take better care of yourself. I know work is easier than taking care of yourself sometimes, but really just pay more attention to your health, not just work. Like I said, you're not a machine. You want me to be more specific? Okay. Um, well, first of all, stop staying up so late. And I'm not just saying that because I'm selfish and want you in bed with me, although I am selfish and I want you in bed with me. But also, unless something's due tomorrow, it's better to do it the next day when your head's clear after getting enough sleep. Second, don't work overtime unless you absolutely need to. And when you do need to work late, let me know what's going on. Call me. Text me. Send me a singing telegram. Send me a regular telegram. I could, I could stand to brush up on my Morse code. What else? Let's see. Um, oh, eat your lunch and stop skipping meals. That one's your worst offense. I swear, when you get so drowned in your work, you just don't think about anything else. I mean, I understand I'm the same way, but like, you do need to eat. I know sometimes you think that it's just not worth it or, or it's too much trouble or you're in a hurry or whatever, but skipping meals is really not good for you. You really need to eat regularly or your brain's going to start eating itself. And don't do that. I, I love your brain. Mwah. Brain. I love brain. See? I, I love your brain. I just I just kissed it. Yeah, okay. I, I, I know it's your skull, but stop being so pedantic. It's as close to the brain as I can get without cracking it open. All right. So, what else? Right. Most importantly, stop overworking and remember to take enough time to rest and relax. Like I said, not every second of your waking life needs to be spent working. And from our circumstances, you are more than welcome to take some breaks. In fact, you need to do that for your sake. And if you don't think your sake is important enough, then do it for my sake. Please? So, is all that doable for you? <laughs> See? Good. I, I thought so. Because if you can manage to get ahead in your job, then you can definitely manage your health. I know it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but that's why you have a gorgeous wife. To poke you and prod you and spoil you and make sure you take care of yourself. <laughs> you know, I hope I don't have to come to work and supervise you. Because if this ridiculous behavior keeps up, I'm gonna do it and you can't stop me. I mean, unless you tie me to a chair or something, which, kinky. But I'll still find a way to keep an eye on you.
What are you giggling about? You think I'm joking? You better not. Listen, I am dead, dead serious. This is no laughing matter. You need to take better care of yourself. Promise me you will. Oh, all right, I'll trust you again. Speaking of promises, uh, you broke the one about going to bed early, so how are you going to make it up to me? You'll make me pancakes tomorrow morning? Hmm. With extra sugar? And whipped cream? And strawberries? Ah, <sighs> you really know what I like, don't you? <sighs> All right, well, in that case, you'd better wake up earlier than I do, because the less I wait for pancakes, the better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can, you can wake up whenever. It's Saturday. And sleeping in is what you need and deserve after a long week's hard work. Isn't that right? Just remember to keep your promise this time, because pancakes, not even pancakes with strawberries and whipped cream and extra sugar, they will not save you if you break this one. I mean it. <laughs> All right. Good night, babe. I love you. <laughs>